Good evening, YouTube family. Tio here, some plastic fishing back at you tonight with more leg breakdowns for Eagle Mountain Lake. We're almost done with this thing. We hit about our 30 minute max last time on our video. I don't usually like going longer than that. So I went ahead and broke this into three different zones. So if you missed the first two videos, we've got zone one, which is more the southern end of the lake. And then we've got zone two, which would be more kind of the northern half, north, northeastern half. And then tonight we're going to cover more the northwestern half and getting closer down into that southern end. So we'll talk about that tonight. Should be lots of fun. We'll get this lake finished out. And then we're going to talk about the offshore hotspots on the next video for Eagle Mountain. And that will wrap it up. And then we're moving up just a little bit further up, <clears throat> not too much further up, but we're going to go up to Lake Bridgeport and we're going to break that one down. We had a subscriber that's been very good to me um, as far as buying the simplistic cards and he asked for this uh, lake. So I want to make sure we get that out to him as soon as possible. So those will be our next videos coming up. Then we're switching over. We'll talk about Texoma. You guys heard me talk about that one. We've got some smaller lakes that we requested as well with uh, Mill Creek equipment in Winsboro. So we've got a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, hang in there with me. It takes me a little bit of time to break these down. I'll make sure I give you guys good quality, but uh, I'm sure that it's going to help your fishing tremendously. So stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's finish out Eagle Mountain Lake. Here we go. As I mentioned, we, uh, we covered zone one, which was really all of these different <clears throat> yellow icons that you see here and then we started to say that we were going to make all of these blue icons zone two but i wasn't able to finish up that video so if you missed those this would be zone one we covered this area in zone one zone two we actually covered all the way up um, to about this point right in here so we covered all of this area up in here zone three we're going to finish from that point basically right here where my little hand is we're going to start right here on this point here and we're going to work our way south so if you miss those other videos uh, click the link on the top that will take you back to them or you can always go out to the simplistic fishing page on youtube uh, go out there and look under the lake breakdowns and that will show you not only just this lake breakdown and all the different ones we've done for this lake but also the ones we've done for several other lakes in the area so make sure you go check those out and also make sure you go out to our site and purchase an sd card or the digital file for your um for your for your graphs uh, simplistic fish not squared on site make sure you go out and check that out all right so <clears throat> with all that being said let's go ahead and start off we ended right up here last time um, so we're going to basically start here and move our way down now the dates that we were using in the last video is really around 2014 so let me back us up here to 2014 And you can see here where things look a whole lot different. So we talked about the ramp, um, kind of look back at here. There wasn't much of a creek channel going on here. So we moved down, you know, these docks are a little bit better. They're not as long as those other ones that we talked about in the last video. There's still not a lot going on there. There is a little bit of a hump out here, but again, I don't see a lot of rock or shelves on or anything like that that would really uh, make you want to be attracted to it. You've got a nice little little point here as well that you could look at but again not too much going on so i didn't make any marks there until i actually got all the way back here by this marina so back in here by the marina not too much going on from the contour perspective but you did um, obviously you've got a ramp out here by the marina but then you do have a pretty decent little creek channel that was back here um, that you can see on this picture let me see if i can get you a, a clear image here i don't know if i'll be able to or not look like it's gonna let me that yep, looks like 2014 is gonna be the best image that we can get but <clears throat> if we look here we've got a pretty decent little ditch or a little creek channel I'm pretty sure this is a creek channel as you kind of see it winding through the trees but this looks really good and you got a really good kind of weed line there to fish around as well you've even got a secondary ditch here too so if you wanted to take these uh these digital files and really even fine tune even more this might be a little ditch that you might want to look at too. You know, everybody might be focusing on this creek channel, but really the money spot might be right beside them right here in this ditch. So take a look at things like that. Those are always key areas to fish. Those creek channels are good and marinas are good. I mean, you can't go wrong going and fishing marinas. That's where you go when you're having a bad day. It's where you go when you want to have a good day. So uh, marinas are always a good place to go fish around. So a couple of things in here. Uh, down in here, it's really just all ramps, but I marked each one of the ramps. I didn't see any brush piles again, no rocks off these points or anything like that. Just kind of, just not a lot going on, just a lot of mud, but we got ramps here. We got another ramp here that's got some debris on it. 
we got some ramps back in here with some really good, you know, vegetation and stuff around us. So these could be good. Also, you got a ramp here and here, and you've heard me say it uh, on all the other videos too. I missed a ramp right here, but uh, this ramp pattern can be really, really good. So don't ignore the ramp pattern. Always go check it out and see, because it's one of the easiest patterns to replicate. I mean, if you go out and you find out that on the first three ramps you went to, you had success, especially if you have this simplistic fishing cart, you'll be able to just run those ramps the rest of the day and make it really, really easy. You're not searching, not burning a ton of fuel. You know exactly what you're doing, where you're going. So if you can get on that pattern, get on it. And it can be a very, very good pattern. So moving on down here, we've got some spots that come up as high spots that look decent, but again, not a lot of cover on them or anything like that. No rocks or anything like that. But if we go over here to this point, we come off this point, we've got some decent rock that comes over here. Pretty shallow, probably gonna be more square build type, but still a pretty decent uh, little area. And then moving over here, we've got some more ramps, another ramp here. You can tell again, these are fairly shallow areas just based on how long that walkway is in those docks. And then getting back in here, we've got a couple more ramps, a ramp here, another one here, another one kind of hidden in this big old mess that's right here. Now, the interesting thing about this, you got kind of a little point here and you've got, I guess you could say, it's not really a creek channel. It's like where they've dug all of this out. But if you look right around in here, there is a pretty good little weed line going on here. So if you were forced to fish in this area, or if this is the area that you were looking at or you're fishing in, don't forget about these weed lines that are out here. So if you're up here fishing, you're not having a lot of success up here really shallow, just back off a little bit where you get that break. And usually right where that break is, is where that weed line is going to stop. And that's going to be a, a better area for you to fish. So don't ignore those weed lines that are over there. It's, it's definitely a lot different than if you're just used to fishing those, uh, those rocky uh, lakes, say like Table Rock or something like that. It's just a little bit different setup and it's something you got to get used to. So then moving down here, um, didn't see too much going on here. Um, you know, again, just some weed lines and things, but nothing too crazy. Got a pretty decent little hump out here called Pelican Island um, that has some pretty good cover on the top of it. I don't know if this gets completely submerged or not, but that's if it does, or even if it doesn't, getting up really close to that could be really good. And even this little area back in here as well. So then moving over here, I didn't see too much going on in that bank line, um, but did have a really nice creek channel that comes back up in here. So if you look at this image, you're like, well, duh, I can see the creek channel, no problem. But you really can, because if I move it up to 2015, it's not nearly as obvious. Um, so first off, we've got the creek channel that comes here. This is a really shallow area back in here. But you know what I did like about this when I looked at it on this image is, ooh, I love, I love that. You know, I love all this aquatic vegetation. There's probably some pads or maybe that's just grass grass or i'm not sure what it is mats no telling what it is but it all looks good i like fishing that kind of stuff but anyways coming back here moving it back to 2014 you can see this creek channel very significantly so i marked the creek channel and then in this creek channel we actually have some different lay downs that i marked as well so you got a lay down there you got some debris with a like a good christmas tree right there as well you got some additional debris that's up in here you got a big lay down going on here. You got another one right there as well. So that could be a pretty interesting area to fish. This looks really shallow, obviously. You've got a ramp back here too, um, but a real good creek channel. And again, you're just looking at those weed lines around those creek channels, or you're getting up on the, on the bins and looking and searching around the bend to see where they're at. Um, you, again, you've got some more brush over here. And then the thing I liked about this is you've actually got Another creek channel that's over here too. So you've got a real good creek channel bin right there. So I went ahead and marked that for you guys. Got a ramp back here. And then that pinch point that Roy is talking about, it's starting to make one right here. I don't know if this was an old pond and this is an old pond dam. Kind of looks like it, um, it's hard to tell. But anyways, you do have a little bit of a ditch that's going on right in here. So I went ahead and marked this. These can be really good secret spots sometimes. So. Take a look at that ditch and see if you find anything in there. I can see that being a pretty good spot, especially with having the quick access to the deeper water. Then as we move back in here, a couple more things that I saw back in here. There was a ditch back in here as well. This is probably some sort of drainage ditch or something like that. But you can see that it's it's done a pretty good job of, of making a pretty significant ditch coming through right in this area. So, and you've got the vegetation as well and stuff like that. So this could be a real good spot to look at. 
And then, you know, we were talking about earlier, if you're up here pounding the bank and not having success to just back off, this is another really good image of that. If you're looking here, if you were up here fishing this, you're probably not going to find too much. There's just not a lot for them to attract to except for that seawall. But if you pull back here, now they've got access to deeper water, but they've also got something that they can hide in. So they can hide in these bushes and go out and attack stuff. So this would be more of a higher percentage spot for me, in my opinion, to fish than actually fishing up here. Um, so think about that when you're out there fishing and give it a try. It might work for you, it might not. You might say, hey, Kyle, you're an idiot. Totally understand that everybody fishes their own way, but that's just kind of how I've had to kind of change my way of thinking since I've moved south. So moving on down here, uh, we've got ramps there. We've got some rocks as well right in here. This looks like a really good beeve, like for good square building and stuff like that. Um, you know, this one doesn't have that ledge like the other ones do. So they probably are going to push up here and they're going to feed up here and stuff like that. So you could definitely find some, some fish up in this area. And then moving back in here, there's a pretty decent little ditch going on back in here, actually two of them. So these again are probably some sort of drainage ditches or something. This one kind of starts up here. It wasn't as obvious until I got right around here where you can see even the shade from this being a, a deeper uh, type ditch. So I went ahead and marked that. So you've got ditch here and you've got the ditch here as well. And then moving back in here, another ramp, again, another ramp. And then of course my, uh, my Texas ledge here. So if you look really closely, you can see the shade. So that tells me that there's some kind of an elevation change that's happening there. And there's not a lot of elevation change anywhere else except for right there. So it's a pretty good ledge for them to set on. Imagine that being in the summertime and there's really no other shade. They could maybe set up here in the shade, but that's super shallow or they could set out here in front of the dock or under the dock to get shade. Um, but really other than that, they don't have a lot of options, but they go out here, they're in a little bit deeper water, but they still get that, that shade from that ledge. So think about the spots like that as well when you're out here fishing these lakes. And then I'm gonna keep on moving down. I believe we are finished. So that wraps us up with the Google Earth waypoints for Eagle Mountain Lake. We had a ton of them out there. Just a friendly reminder, go out to simplisticfish.square.site and get your SD cards today. Uh, we've had a lot of success with those, had a lot of people tell us they've had success with them. So super excited to keep doing these and breaking down lakes for you. And if you have a lake you want us to break down, shoot us a message, shoot us a comment out there, and we'll make sure to add it to our list. So until next time, guys, hope you catch your PB. Take care.